Before I start the video, I just before I start the video, I just wanted to say yes, she is overrated. Hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. I'm going to explain why Sylvia Plath is an overrated author. Now, I do not think her poetry is bad. She has a pretty sizable amount of great poems, and I'm also not here to discredit the trauma she went through while being physically abused by her husband. I know that the time of her life when she wrote The Bell Jar it was very difficult for her. However, that doesn't excuse her obvious racism in the novel. Now, with that being said, I'm going to elaborate. Over the past summer, I read the novel over a course of a week after seeing it multiple times on my TikTok feed. The people who recommended it spoke very highly of it. A lot of the people said they related to the character Esther Greenwood. Esther started the book off interning in New York for a magazine company. She felt that she wasted her time in New York and was pretty upset by it. When she got home, she learned that she was rejected from a writing program and fell into a very deep depression and attempted to end her life. She was then submitted into a very expensive mental hospital, which was funded by the same person who funded her interning in New York. So the book cuts off after one of Esther's friends ends her life, and Esther is getting evaluated to see if she can return to school. Now, I could talk for hours about the romanticization of being sad, but a YouTuber called Ali Sunvia has already made a very powerful video essay about this topic. I will put a link in the description. I highly recommend it. Now, to talk about the problem with her novel besides that people use it as a mentally unwell aesthetic, there's a lot of racism in it. It was written in 1967, which was just a year before the end of the civil rights movement. A writer named Crystal Contreras wrote an article titled, It's Time We Had a Talk About the Bell Jar, the White Feminist Racist Literary Icon. She wrote this for Willamette Week. I'll link it in the description. This article was made in 2017. In the article, she says, White feminism, which is a label for a certain type of feminism that focuses on the safety and comfort of white, middle, and upper-class women at the expense of women of color and other marginalized people. All of Esther's education was funded by a very rich lady. Now to talk about some of her things that Plath wrote that are wrong. When Esther got food poisoning, she described her reflection as a big, smudgy-eyed Chinese woman staring idiotically into her face. And she also describes a Mexican woman as an ethical slur against black women. Now, to talk about what Esther did in the story. While she was in the mental hospital, a black man served her two different kinds of beans. Like, I know she was mentally ill, but why is she kicking someone over beans? When Esther is living with her mother before being sent to the hospital, she starts writing a story where she projects the main character onto herself to pass the time. Now, it's not rocket science to realize that there are quite a few overlaps between Esther and Sylvia Plath. Well, that's all I have to say on this topic. If you disagree, say why in the comments. Or if you agree, you can comment that too. Goodbye.